my name is Sachin Dhingra, and I'm the product line manager for Ethernet Controller IP. In the previous session, we talked about electronics in a car, how they're everywhere, and we split into four different sections to analyze what the protocol requirements were. In this section, we'll look at how automotive Ethernet comes into play and how it fits the profile. So it came about when IEEE Ethernet bodies, 802.1 and 802.3, started two standard groups, uh, working groups, AVB, audio video bridging, and then now TSN, which is time sensitive network. What they did is they basically enhanced Ethernet so that it could actually run only on two wires at speeds over one gigabit per second. It, could act, it would comply with the automotive emissions requirements, both EMI and RF. And one of the most important ones is basically reliability or the protocol requirements in terms of packets getting from point A to point B. So there's multiple standards and substandards features defined. We won't go into the details. I've written them out here. But let's go over why automotive Ethernet is going to be a winner. First of all, protocol requirements. We talked about bandwidth. Ethernet can go anywhere from 1 Mbps to 10 gigabits per second. Latency, you have multiple features which ensure you can meet the latency as tight as 10 microseconds required for powertrain and chassis. Reliability, same thing. You will have multiple ways to ensure your packets are given priority and this bandwidth set aside for critical packets, right? Cost. Now, Ethernet is an, is, a, is an open standard, right? There's no proprietary protocol such as CAN or most, right? So there'll be more vendors supplying parts that are compliant with Ethernet, which will obviously bring the cost down. Wires. We talked about wires being the third largest component and third most expensive component of a car. If you can run Ethernet on two wires, connect everything, guess what? You're going to save a lot of money on wiring. And the third one is time to market. Ethernet has been around for decades, which means there's a huge ecosystem and familiarity with Ethernet. It is projected that by 2020, each car will have anywhere from 10 to 100 Ethernet ports and about 400 million Ethernet ports in, all, in, the, in cars worldwide. So obviously, we want to be in this space we want to be the leader in the space. Cadence is a leading provider of Ethernet protocol IP. We are one of the first vendors to support TSN AVB standards. For more information, go to ip.cadence.com. Thank you.